to the Necro Dancer is a game that changes the way the game plays. Mixing both dungeon crawl and river based genres, the only way to do anything in this game is for you using the commands to the rhythm and progressing through the levels before the song ends. Whilst there's only a short amount of time with each song, the game still encourages you to explore as there are collectibles such as power ups, gold, and diamonds which can be used to purchase upgrades, and a range of enemies all also moving to the beat with their own patterns. Yet the levels aren't too big that you have to worry about exploring and finding the exit before time runs out. But this game does give a challenge with roguelike elements such as limited help, and once you die, you start the zone over. This is a trial and error game, but even then, the levels are always randomly generated to keep you on your toes. But I felt in some areas the challenge might have been a bit too cruel. The game also isn't very long, but it makes up for that for a huge range of additional features including a daily challenge, additional characters, and a community created dungeons to keep you occupied. Graphically it's nothing very special. With a 2D overhead view of the world which does look nice, but I was far too focused on trying to move and survive to find anything to appreciate. What I could appreciate however is the amazing soundtrack. This is Danny Barano's Sky's greatest work by far, and the main reason I can keep coming back to this game, and on its own it's well worth the price. Whilst I don't find this game as addicting as others, it's still a really enjoyable one.